Welcome to week five of Castle Game Day. I'm Lawrence Faulkner, joined by Dylan Rice. Homecoming week here at Castle Robay High School. This week's opponent, the 0-4 Foothill Mustangs. Here's what happened last time these two teams matched up. Early in the second half, Rams working the two-back set. Kevin Roth takes the ball, hands off to Matt Satro up the middle. Later in the game, Kevin Roth, showing why the Rams offense is so great, airs it out to Tristan Bear, who gets the touchdown. Rams going to win. 34-20. This season, the Foothill Mustangs are struggling with an 0-4 record. As for the Rams, 4-0, looking to go 5-0, going into league play. Some key questions for the night. 1. Can the Rams offense be stopped? 2. Distractions. With it being homecoming week, how will the Rams stay on task to get the job done? And finally, big plays downfield. With the Rams running all last week, will the big plays come into play? Well, Lawrence, the distractions of homecoming are always a key factor. Players seem to think that the dance and the nominations are more important than the game. That shouldn't happen this year. The Rams are pretty focused. As for big plays downfield, it's important that the wide receivers can run clean routes and get open like senior Cody Allred. Cody Allred, this week's player profile. Player profile. What do you do on game day? Um, I hang out with my boys, DJ, Mike, Sam. We all go to my house and chill, get a bite to eat. Then I come home, nap, think about what I'm gonna do in the game, dream about it, then get in the truck, slap the pod, game time. What do you think the outcome of the game will be? I'm gonna say us on top big, 48-13, if that. My dream play is no time left on the clock, Bring a guy on the scene, me standing there wide open in the end zone, Sam rolls out, throws it, touchdown, see red. Now that you know about Cody Allred, Chad Haddix had a chance to talk with a couple of the nominees that are also players. Sideline Report. Sideline Report. Chad Haddix here through Sideline Report. We're going to get things started off with the injuries. Dakota Cook is out for the rest of the season due to a back injury. So is Mason Griffin. He's also out for the rest of the season due to a shoulder injury. Now, Jakey Enders, he's probable for the game this Friday due to his shoulder. I had a chance to sit down with two of our junior nominees to see how they thought the game was going to turn out to be this Friday and see if the pressure of being a homecoming nominee will affect their performance. All right. Uh, I'm happy that we're finally back from the long vacation that we had. Um, I think we'll do pretty good this homecoming game. I mean, I know we'll win. Foothill's not that great of a team, and with the fans and everything, we'll do pretty good. Um, being a nominee, I don't think that'll affect me very much. I just gotta do my job like Jacob always says, and we'll be good. So what his job is? What is your job, Cameron? I'm a right tackle for the offensive line. I just gotta block people. Pretty much just push people around. Uh, yeah, we'll do good, don't worry. Uh, I feel uh, pretty good about being a nominee, and uh, I don't think it's going to affect my performance at all. That's messed up there. But uh, I think uh, we're going to crush this team, and the fans are going to get bored and want to leave. And uh, that's pretty much all i got to say. Now back to you, Dylan Lawrence. 